one of the ideas is how can we find areas within this community that we can grow these jobs. So we let, we received the grant, we let the grant out in an RFP and we chose SRI. Why did we choose SRI? Not only are they among the best when it comes to this uh, regionally and nationally, but globally. So we had the opportunity to look at this from a much broader perspective. And they came up with some really startling results in which we already have within the four clusters, and you can see those clusters identified in their one sheet there, that there are 324,000 jobs already existing in the four clusters of applied medicine and human performance, high-tech electronics and instruments, business, financial, and data services, marine environmental activities. Our goal is that partnership and this plan does not grow the job. We cannot create one job. It's these businesses that create them. So what are those things that we have to do to architect to make sure that those companies have the best chance of growing the jobs? So while we started off with a goal of getting to 500,000 jobs, I noticed on the board that there are 300, so someone just doubled our goal. Uh, to get, we were going to go over to 500,000, that's the race to 500,000 jobs. So, with the leadership of the partnership and all the, the partners, and um, uh, Benny Dolan, who at that time orchestrated the research through SRI and all the teams that were associated with it, the next best thing to do is when you have a strategy, is to have a structure that follows that strategy. And so, we put into place the management of this plan to activate it, to hold ourselves accountable for results. So we have a chair, myself, and we have captains of chairs of each of these teams that represent these industry clusters. And it's important to understand that these clusters are not mutually exclusive of the important drivers of the economic development within the region, whether or not it's agriculture or tourism, because many of these will tie into those, as you'll see in the report that you have in front of you. We also have a, a little bit larger report that is available online at tampabay.org. I encourage you to take a look at it because it does give you a little bit more detail of each of those individual clusters. And why is that important? So you can better understand the businesses and the industries that are associated with them. So each of these uh, four um, industry sectors have a share. Right now, we have over 100 people working on the committees within here. In addition to these, we have a foundational chair that's looking at the brand of Tampa Bay, the ecosystem of venture capital, and that's very important for us in terms of looking at how do we develop the, the financial infrastructure for these, both from the angel funds to the uh, second stage funding and the ongoing funding for these. The other group that we have is workforce development, and it is represented by all the universities, colleges, and GoTech schools. To, to match against what are the needs of these industries versus what are we producing in terms of graduates for these uh, companies. If the state of Florida graduates 20,000 STEM grads and USF graduates over 4,000 STEM grads a year, where are they going? Are they leaving the state? Are they being able to be matched up with these employers? This is what this workforce group is looking at, not just to do it in a statistical way, but going out and talking to customers. Not a whole idea, right? Go talk to businesses who are looking to hire STEM grants, who are looking to hire well-rounded global citizens into their businesses, and not just know the academic side of it, but have the critical thinking skills and the analytical skills. 